Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a box and whisker plot to make your point. Imagine you're the quality control officer at Sans Gluten, a fictional commercial bakery that produces gluten-free baked goods. One of your top sellers is sea salt rice crackers, which has two dedicated production lines in the bakery. During the manufacturing process, the dough is pressed into long sheets in a machine called the two-roll sheeter before it's cut into octagonal shapes. After leaving the ovens, however, you notice that some of the crackers are not flat and thus could not be stacked properly into the packaging. To investigate the cause, you measure the thickness of the dough after it left the two-roll sheeter on each production line every 30 seconds for 10 minutes. This quality control check produced a data set of 20 measurements for the two-roll sheeter on each production line. So, a data set for sheeter A and a data set for sheeter B. Then you decided to make a box and whisker plot to evaluate how consistent sheeter A and sheeter B flattened the dough to the desired thickness of 9 to 10 millimeters. To make a box and whisker plot, you need five numbers from each data set. For example, for sheeter A, first you identified the minimum value in the data set then the maximum value. Next, you determine how spread out the other measurements are between the minimum and maximum value. In order to do that, you identified the first quartile, which is the value under which 25% of the data points are found. In the case of Sheeter A's 20 measurements, the first quartile is the fifth and sixth measurements added together and then divided by two, resulting in the value of 8.5 millimeters. Next, you identified the third quartile, which is the value under which 75% of the data points are found. In the case of sheeter A, the third quartile is the 15th and the 16th measurements added together and then divided by 2, resulting in a value of 10 millimeters. Finally, you determine the medium value, which is the middle number of a sorted data set. In the case of sheeter A, the median is the 10th and the 11th measurements added together and then divided by 2, resulting in a value of 9 millimeters. With the five required numbers calculated, you drew the box and whisker plot for sheeter A. Then, you repeated the above steps to complete a box and whisker plot for sheeter B. Last but not least, you added the title on the top and the source of the data at the bottom. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis of your findings for the manufacturer who sold the two roller sheeters to Sans Gluten. In the beginning, your executive summary should identify the issue and state how you assess the problem. For example, unfortunately, a two roller sheeter on our sea salt rice cracker production line is failing to produce a consistent dough sheet. A 10-minute quality control test of sheeter B found that this machine frequently produced an overly thin sheet of dough. Next comes the description of the box and whisker plots, highlighting the key findings from your quality control check for sheeters A and B. Sheeter A largely perform within our manufacturing specifications from 9 to 10 millimeters, with a medium value of 9 millimeters, whereas 75% of the measurements taken from sheeter B were too thin. Now comes your call to action. How can the manufacturer remedy this situation? Could you please immediately send a field service engineer to recalibrate the rollers in sheeter B? We have suspended the operations in one of our busiest production lines because of this issue. In summary, a box and whisker plot is an effective way to present five pieces of information about a data set. With these numbers, you can show how tightly the data is grouped as well as the symmetry of a data set. Taking a second look at the measurements for sheeter A, the lower quartile is outside the manufacturing specifications and thus warrants a minor recalibration. I better let the field service engineer know, but before I do, thanks for your time and I look forward to discussing another way to visualize your data so that you can make your point.